Third round draft pick, Frank Gore. Don't ever hit a pound stop, right? Just like in the game, you go, finish. I want to see you 30 yards every time. In his rookie campaign, Gore won the blue collar vote by bushwhacking his way through defenses. He led the team with over 600 yards rushing, and his 4.8 yards per carry led all rookie runners. Frank Gore added two touchdowns as the 49ers piled up over 200 yards rushing. Pro Bowl running back Frank Gore, who tore up the league in his second season. Hey, we gonna bust one, dog. Yeah. I feel that. What is it? Behind the blocking of fullback Moran Norris, Gore became the first 49er to lead the NFC in rushing with nearly 1,700 yards. We keep grinding it out, right? All right, we keep grinding it out. All right. Norris and Gore were a dynamic duo as Gore broke nearly every team record, including rushing yards, combined yards, carries, and 100-yard games with nine. You gotta see it to believe it, Frank Gore! Frank Gore! Frank Gore! He also led the team with 61 receptions and nine touchdowns. Frank Gore, the new generation of great running backs for San Francisco. Gotta be Frank, Frank Gore! Gore. There this is going to make your dogs fight right here, boys. Frank Gore, a surprise in the National Football League. When I watch his running styles, it reminds me a lot of LaDainian Thompson. Has lateral explosiveness wow. and Don't gets that tough on yards. Him. Gets tough Don't yards. That on this him. guy is a team. Frank Gore gashed open for 134 yards, earning NFC Offensive Player of the Week honors. Niners squad, first quarter scoreless, third and 16, just trying to pick up a few yards, right? Maybe get better field position? No, that's Frank Gore, and he bursts by four Lions. He's off on a 61-yard touchdown run. Gore runs for a franchise record, buck 48 in the first half, a career-high 159 in the game. San Francisco scored. And Coach Lombardi and Coach Hallis and all the coaches looking like that. Niners fired up. The coach well-dressed. Boy, Frank Gore was well-dressed. 23-yard gain on the day. Niners defense doing their job, and then Frank Gore. Wow. By the time the day was done, Frank Gore had a team record, 212 yards. This looked great. Mike Dolan looked great, and Frank Gore. From to you. Hey, no need to wait a month for this election. He won it. He set a team record in running with 212 yards. That's a Niners record. Rice had 14 1,000-yard seasons. Frank Gore earned his first in just the 10th game with a franchise record 212 rushing yards. The 49ers trampled the Seahawks for their third straight victory. Big day for the running backs. A couple of good young running backs. Frank Gore from where? The U. The U. On the heels of fullback Morin Norris. Josh, what do you like about Gore? He runs behind his, behind his pads. I think that's critical. A lot of guys run upright. How hard does he run? Watch this. I'm going right and then get out of my way. Touchdown. It's now a 10-7 game. Used to be known as the old Packer sweep. You pull both guards outside. Great patience shown by Frank Gore right there. Cut spots of the lane inside, cuts back, then uses his power at the end to get into the end zone. Early fourth quarter. The it was a slow start for Gore and company. But while the offense was bogged down, San Francisco's defense clamped. You got to do something with the ball. So here we go. You got somebody that's working. Give it to Frank Gore. And boy, did he show off tonight. Boy, in the second half, ensuing Niner possession. Kelly Herndon. It's him right there. Alex Smith doesn't wrap him up. Smith running, now throwing. It's not Al Gore. It's Frank Gore. He's in. And the Niners lead 17 to 7. Then fourth quarter, an inconvenient truth for the Seahawks is the fact that Frank Gore is running crazy on them. 2-12 in the first game between the two teams, which was a franchise record earlier.
they came out, they played the eight, nine men in the box, they played tough, you know, but, you know, uh, my whole line, my fullback, my receivers, you know, we kept pounding and we kept, we kept going at it. Well, they're very happy with what they're seeing in San Francisco from Frank. Let's be honest, you get more with Gore. In fact, he owns the Seattle Seahawks right now. Set a franchise record the first time he played him with 212 yards. Back that up with 144. Fourth quarter now. 49ers down 13. Frank Gore, only 51 yards and 11 carries. And the fortunes of two franchises turn in a matter of minutes. This kid is the real duo. You know, when you average over five yards a carry in the National Football League, you're special. Three receivers in the game. Taylor Jacobs is in now, but they'll give it to Gore. Gore right up the gut, and he's in for the touchdown. That was really a great formation, really, and they spread him out. And when you spread him out, and you get one-on-one -on -one blocking. For San Francisco, behind Jonas Jennings, great the tackle, job. and Larry Allen, job. the guard. These are massive human beings. You know. Frank Gore is excited. The 49er faithful are pumped up. And nobody covered him at all. I mean, and it really wasn't even a good play fake. So yeah, I, I, right now, they look a little discombobulated out there. That's the Cardinals. They really do. And once they, they play fake to him. On first and five, they'll give it to Gore. He's got a nice hole. And Gore is out over midfield and dragging Adrian Wilson, among others, with him. will begin at the Arizona 33. And here is... Frank Gore, and Frank Gore has some room, and Frank Gore is near a first down. Surprising at 2-0. and We'll take a look at some of them when we return. All right, 49ers and Rams. Frank Gore's mother passed away earlier this week or decided to play. Third quarter, 49ers down 13-7. to seven. Wow, what a great run. Yeah, now look at this. They're all there. It's yep. bottled up. There's nowhere to go. No. There's nowhere to go. It's if Frank says, I got to go. Of the pack. He's terrific. And then you got another chance now. There's, what, six guys around him? within the vicinity, and nobody gets it. That's dedication and determination. He's a good football player. This guy is really a good player. And you can see his numbers today. 16 yards on that last one. What a one-handed catch. And Gore has about five or six. Been on fire. 11 catches for almost 100 yards. And he's getting close to the 100-yard mark. He has been the difference. Darnell Dawkins, that's where the play's made. Look at him hook him right there, take him down to the knee. And then I'm not sure what Oliver Selstein's doing. Get that head of steam. He's got to close the gap and come up and make that play. If he does his job right, that should be about a 10-yard gain. He can't sit back there and wait. On the 25-yard line. I mean, that, I, it's realistic. 16, huge play nine. First position, third quarter, Frank Gore. It's his party. He'll cry if he wants to. He couldn't conclude the season. From the 19, first down run, Frank Gore through the hole, kept going. Look at Gore run hard. On oh, the opening offensive snap and a gain of eight. Toss to Gore. Got some great blocks on the edge. And Gore takes it to the 35 pickup of 25 yards. Fourth and one, the Niners gamble, pay off. Third and goal, Gore with the swing pass, touchdown. And so 14 to seven, the Niners have the lead. Now third quarter, Gore up the middle, but he comes off limping, would be carted off, would return to the sideline, which was next paid Manning, Alex Smith. A little different career pass, but they're squaring off. Frank Gore, how would he do? Bang! He's through the Colts defense and gone 64 yards. Boy, San Francisco could play some of the toughest teams yes. in football. Yes. Tough, especially when he's on. You know, the Titans 13, two plays later, the inconvenient truth gets in the end zone. It's the game. It's oh, when he's healthy, he is he is a dynamic back. 15 carries, 83 yards. One take, I love it. Frank Gore, the very next play. Frank Gore, over 100 yards rushing. And with his 17th career 100-yard rushing performance, Frank Gore passes Garrison Hurst for second most in Niners history. Maybe this is a chance for the Jacksonville Jaguars to really try and get in the stranglehold position for one of those wild card spots in the AFC. Instead, this happened. Alex Smith rolls right. Frank Gore touchdown. The play was reviewed. It was the right call when they said touchdown. Yeah, to nice play by Alex Smith. And Frank Gore understanding where, where he's at on the field, securing the ball, keeping those toes in nice. Third and short, the fullback is in. Gore is running into the secondary. Frank Gore up the middle, back down by Dansby. And take Frank Gore to daylight. You see Norris on a good kick out. That's a nice job up in the hole by Gore. And when he gets into the open field. His third interception of the season. 
First and 15 now, and a huge opening for Gore. Gore stays on his feet, out of the roll tackle, out to the 38-yard line. 31 on the game. But this is just an isolation draw off the right side, and Frank Gore wow. runs right through Antrell Roll, and he's closing in on 100 yards in this first half already. Those are two guys who know each other, former Canes. They were at Miami at the same time. Both came out in the 2005 draft. So there's no flag. He was correctly not called by the official. There's Gore squirting through the hole for the first down at the 38. <laughs> This is Frank Gore right here. Clearing the way. <laughs> David Boss, the guard, pulling, leading the way for another big Frank Gore run. What a chance for San Fran. A shotgun run with Gore. Inside the 10. To the 5. First and goal, San Francisco. Moran Norris, the fullback. Gore the deep back. Gore going in. Touchdown. 